So if you have a camcorder that only records in mono audio, then I have an easy way for you to convert that mono audio to stereo audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Coming up. Hey there, welcome back to my camera collection. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change your mono audio to stereo audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll show you an example of what I mean by mono and stereo, and then I'll show you how to do it in the software. It's a pretty easy and quick way to do it. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. So if you're new to all this, old camcorders and stuff like that, if you start buying camcorders, some of them will be mono and some of them will be stereo. Now the difference between mono and stereo is mono Mono means that you'll only hear the audio out of one speaker. Stereo means you'll hear it out of two speakers. So back in the day, 80s, 90s, early 2000s, a lot of TVs and uh, audio sources, they only had one speaker. And then they would also make it into a dual or a, a double mono um, connection. So it wasn't like necessarily stereo. In today's world, everything is stereo. You'll hear it out of two speakers. Your TVs have two speakers, everything has two speakers. So what I mean is say like this camcorder from 1994, it has these two audio video sources here. The yellow is always the video. And then on this one, it's black, but um, on a lot of other camcorders, it'll just be white. Now, if it is stereo, it'll be yellow, white, and red. You'll have three there. So you'll have two audios and then the yellow video. If you convert this into your computer and everything nowadays, or hook it up to your TV to watch, you'll only hear the audio from this out of one speaker. So if you go to edit your yourself a video and you can only hear out of one speaker, well then you can change the video audio to stereo instead of mono. Technically it's not stereo. You're taking both of the mono audios and you're kind of just doubling it so it makes the sound come out of both speakers. So technically it's not stereo. It does help with the kind of awkward sound that you would hear only out of one speaker. Another thing that this will fix is myself and a lot of other people have had issues with uh, video converters. I'm not sure if it's the cameras the cables or the video converters because some cameras will do it and some cameras will not. So what I mean is sometimes you will get a camera that is stereo audio and you'll plug in the uh, two audio sources and you'll get this buzzing noise in the audio. And it always seems to be in the red one. So most of the time you have to unplug that red audio source and you'll only have the white one in, making it only mono audio. So when you do go ahead and convert your uh, footage it'll only play out one speaker from say like the clear click video to digital 2.0 or 3.0. They have a problem doing that. So this little technique will help you fix that issue and have your audio in both speakers instead of just one. So that's the whole point of this video is to help you fix those issues. Now that I have explained that, let's go ahead and go into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'll show you how you can make the mono audio into stereo audio. So go ahead and drop your clip into your timeline here. Now, as you can see, you can only see when, when it's stereo, you can see uh, two forms of audio here. And this one only has one. So when you go on here, you'll hear it. Okay, you should be seeing me. You can see that it's only one audio source over here. And it's the left side. Um, through one speaker now. Um, I'm filming on the Sony VX2000. If you want to change this to stereo, you're going to right click, then you're going to go down to audio channels. And since you already have the left one selected here, you're gonna move the check mark over to the left side here as well, and then hit okay. And now you can see that it has both speakers here, or it is stereo now. So then when you hit play, review will be coming out on this uh, probably next week. Now, watching this on your phone, uh, it might be a little hard to distinguish if you can hear it mono or stereo. So that's how you do it right there. It's super easy. It's really just like a, a, real, a real quick fix. So stay tuned for the Sony VX2000 review I have coming out next week. I'm actually pretty excited to check out this camera and share it with you guys. I've been wanting one for quite a while. If this helped you at all, make sure you like the video. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe because we talk about old school retro camcorders on a weekly basis. And on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.